dear brother. You are a beautiful person. May God guide you and guide me too. And oh, that is Thank beautiful. You thing. And uh, second, uh, you put a link to Amazon.com. Yes. Uh, yes. Some of yes. Mm-hmm. My books are at Amazon, the English ones. But I don't make money from my books on religion. This is my principal mm-hmm. uh, thing. Therefore, I have them PDF for free. Uh, on internet at academia.edu, I have a page. Page, you will mm. see all my English books or most of them that I could able to format and put it there. They are there. Please feel free to take it and share it for free. And uh, I wanted to make this one because for some people, uh, there, yes, some people wants to have the book in their hand. But if it mm. is not, don't buy the book. It's don't waste not the always resources possible. and stuff. One, one, one question that people uh, keeps on popping up on my screen here for Q&A is this, brother. It has to do with the Hajj and uh, the rituals surrounding the Hajj. What, what, what can you tell us about that? I mean, how much of what is considered to be the Hajj is, in fact, on true guidance? The Quran is, uh, clearly explains Hajj. It's very simple. But Hajj is turned to a bunch of rituals which has nothing to do with the purpose of Hajj. Therefore, you see millions of people going there, uh, unfortunately, ignorant, with good people, with good intention. They come back with ignorance. As, as far as the production, so much money is spent, so much time and energy, nothing. The biggest conference event in the world, as far as the impact on world, Uh, In any way, there is no impact. uh, In fact, it is negative impact. It is uh, in terms of production of pollution, uh, the aeroplanes going there and over Mm -hmm. there, killing each other, stampeding and stuff. But uh, Hajj means uh, comes from the the word Hajjaja, Hajja, Hajja Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. For example, they debated Abraham. It -hmm. means debate, Hajj. Hujjet comes from the word hajjaja, from these three letters. Mm-hmm. Hujjet means evidence used in debate. Hujjet, like hujjatullah, yes. God's mm-hmm. hujjah, God's proof, evidence. Therefore, mm-hmm. hajj comes, uh, the examples of hajj is given in the Quran, Ibrahim's hajj with his own people when he uh, pedagogically teaches them through Socratic dialogue that... Uh, those uh, things uh, like the star, the, the sun cannot be God, and these idols cannot be because when he uh, destroys some uh, small idols, uh, statues, mm-hmm. correct? Statues or statutes? Statues. St- I'm sorry. Statues, I'm not statues. with double not, T. Not statutes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Somehow yes. I studied law. I have a law degree. <laughs> and somehow yes. I got confused about these two words. Still, I confused. <laughs> yes. Statues. Okay. English is confusing. And, yes. Yeah. During Abraham time, his people had statues. But in fact, in the Quran, during Muhammad time, they didn't have statues. They made up. Absolutely, there is no mentioning that Quraysh people had statues, sculptures. No, they had abstract uh, idol worship, like true shafa, uh, let. These are the attributes you and your forefathers made up. But during Ibrahim time, his people using symbols as mediators between them and God, and he mm-hmm. wanted to criticize. He was not showing them power like, uh, you know, Taliban destroyed the things. It was not. He was a young kid and he was oppressed by them. He wanted to show them, teach them something. For that reason, he broke the small, few small idols. Otherwise, he could break the bigger idols. But some ignorant people, they think it means you have the job to go destroy people's idols. No, it was not. He was oppressed. and Therefore, he needed to teach them something. And uh, as a kind of like a little bit, Ibrahim has the youth in him, you know, like prankster. He wanted to do them to teach them. And then he made an argument, beautiful argument. They said, uh, who brought this? Uh, Ibrahim, you broke these uh, statues? No, he said, the bigger idols. Beautiful irony and putting yes, them yes. in the mode yes. of thinking. Therefore, Ibrahim is an example of the one who did the first Hajj. 
Hajj, we do this Hajj. All prophets and messengers did this Hajj on the streets, in the bazaars, like Moses in the palace. But mm -hmm. there is also great Hajj ordered by God to all people in biggest conference come together, debate the important issues, global issues, mm -hmm. or issues involving their nations, involving humanity to discuss or war and peace or progress or climate change or uh, children issue or hunger issues and come discuss in, in, in groups. That is it, Al-Hajj. Therefore, um, Al-Bayt in the Quran also means the headquarter, means center. It's mm -hmm. mentioned in the Quran 19 times. When we say the headquarter of something, yes, it is a building. But in fact, besides building, it has an abstract authority. Even that building is destroyed, maybe another building, that will be the headquarter. They confuse yes. that one with that. means it is the center, it is the capital city right now. Invite people to come here to discuss the central issues, mm -hmm. debate, uh, the main issues that it is relevant to all humanity. First of all, Hajj is for all Nas, not for all only Mu'mins to invite them. Hajj means debate. And there are few terminology in the Quran, it is mistranslated, like Arafa, uh, uh, Arafat, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, Arafat uh, means recognition. That means when people come to that conference from around the world as an audience or as a speaker, and it is in four months in, uh, because the Hajj conference should be done, spread in four months. These are the four months according to the Quran, According to our language, Urf, it must start from Zil Hajjah and then Muharram, correct, and then Safar, and then Rabi Wal Awal. The name of the months themselves uh, proves that these are the four consecutive months. Uh, in mm -hmm. my translation of the Quran, I had a beautiful proof for that argument. I don't mm -hmm. want, but later we can discuss. Yes. Now, in those months, people will come and they will. When they come there, there should be an identification. Arafah mm -hmm. means identification. Honey, mm -hmm. in fact, in hereafter, when people are resurrected, they go to Araf, fil Araf, mm -hmm. Araf, where identified people when they are bifurcated. <laughs> yes, do, yes. You are mm -hmm. Anyway, the same day. So it's a kind of a passport. Yeah, passport or identification. Mm -hmm. We do go to conferences right now. We do. You go there. Yes. You have mm -hmm. you. You write down your name and you get a card. Your name mm -hmm. on it. Where you came from. Who you are. It is a matter of identification down yes. there. And uh, there is a, another word. Uh, These are uh, from God's uh, uh, symbols. Shair. What is it? It is. Uh, and they think it is two hills. It is not. The name, the word themselves tell us a software means purification, introspective, uh, questioning, <laughs> med, med, mm -hmm. med, med, meditation. And al marwa, the Arabic word marwa, the same word, means chivalry, go helping other, be volunteer helping people, maybe carrying water for them. If there is someone mm -hmm. that's sick, help mm -hmm. that person, be a volunteer. God says you can oscillate between a software, the, a person in your own, let's say, uh, place while you are mm -hmm. visiting there, or you can go volunteer. You can oscillate between two. There is no harm there. You mm -hmm. don't need to be always a volunteer. You don't need to be always kind of praying and studying sure. something. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And the but they created so many rituals, so many incredible... Uh, well, let me, how, how did the Hajj become what it is today? I mean, this is, this is something that perplexes me. If uh, this is actually the meaning, I mean, I understand that. And when you talk about circles, you, they're very traditional societies all over the world, especially, for example, amongst the... The Sioux Indians, they called the circle of elders the this, this circle. They say, And then after they were destroyed by the, the war, they said the circle is broken. The elders that guided the community 
that and kept their cultures and traditions is broken you see and there's something uh, also to do with this in amongst the african tribes so this circle idea uh is is refers to the elders so coming together is it is traditionally in my my mindset is this is where the council of elders the circle of elders would come together and meet and the uh, community would stand on the periphery around them and listen in ranks really to to the conversation that the elders would have um and you had to be invited into this circle you couldn't just qualify for it because you ran for office you know you you had to be invited you had to prove your worth uh, in order to be at this this is what we consider i would think in traditional islam should be the shura you see and uh, this would then pass on and make decisions that would uh, concern not just the religion but also the governance of the uh, community and for their welfare so how did all of this become a meaningless ritual it it is done very easily uh, it slowly it goes and people tend to start these kind of things and then continues and continues with time in all Christianity, you see so many rituals. Do you mm -hmm. think Jesus' time, uh, people, disciples of Jesus, drank his blood and cookies and worshipped yes. mm -hmm. uh, things? Or so many rituals they do. Or uh, It is with time, slowly, gradually, especially when it is uh, promoted by the clergymen and the governments, it is done. For example, I give you one example how distortion is done slowly. Gradually Slowly. and immediately, yeah. mm -hmm. like La ilaha illallah is the in the Quran is mentioned about 30 times, is 29 or 30. Please check it. La ilaha illahu, la ilaha illallah, 29 or 30 times. And I feel bad that I don't know exactly how many times, which I did once, but mm -hmm. I mess it up now. And uh, the word uh, the mentioned, none of them, Muhammad's name or Isa or Musa or Dawood, none of them is added to this name, uh, to this mm -hmm. La ilaha illallah. Yeah. And in mm -hmm. fact, chapter uh, 39, verse 45, uh, chapter Zumer, uh, verse 45 says, فَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ God alone when it's mentioned. وَحْدَهُ alone when it's mentioned. فَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ those who do not believe, trust in hereafter, they do not like it. Their heart gets shrinks. Mm -hmm. When others than God, like Jesus, Muhammad, Ali mentioned, uh, they get happy. And mm -hmm. throughout the Quran, and the Quran says, Shahada, the correct Shahada according to God according to angels, according to those who are endowed with knowledge, is la ilaha illahu. Shahid allahu annahu la ilaha illahu wa wal malaikatu wa ulil ilmi qaiman bil qist. Chapter 3, verse mm -hmm. 18. In fact, chapter 72, chapter jinn, the invisible, in that mm -hmm. chapter, chapter uh, uh, 72, verse 18 says, وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدِ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا Masajid, the place of uh, submission to God, prostration, belongs to God alone. Do not call anyone besides God. But mm -hmm. today's Masajid, you see God and Muhammad, Abu Bakr, uh, Omar, Usman, mm -hmm. Ali, Usman, correct, and mm -hmm. Hassan, mm -hmm. Hussein, and some others you see God's next to God's name. In Shahada, they add Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, they add Muhammad Rasulullah next to it. As if God's oneness cannot be stand alone without Muhammad. No, I see. God's yeah. oneness, it is ontological, philosophical, logical fact that doesn't need Muhammad, but mm. they add Muhammad's name. Despite those verses of the Quran, 30 mm -hmm. verses of the Quran, not a single place, Muhammad's name is not mentioned. Like uh, chapter 39, verse 45, like chapter 33, verse 18, 72, uh, 18. In fact, there is one place, Shahada to Muhammad's messenger is mentioned. God knew in the future that hypocrites 
they will do this. Therefore, God exposes them even that time. It says uh, this is in the chapter, Quran. Yeah, chapter sixty-three. I see. Chapter sixty-three, okay. verse one says, "I witness that Muhammad is messenger of God. I witness that you are messenger of God." God says, "Hypocrites! God knows that Muhammad is messenger of God, but hypocrites are lying." Those hypocrites of that time, they didn't believe Muhammad is messenger. Today's hypocrites do not believe too because they believe Muhammad is next to God, is really mm -hmm. divine. Mm -hmm. Without mm -hmm. Muhammad, they cannot, his intercession they believe, they believe that Muhammad can make haram, halal besides God. Even Muhammad can abrogate God's verses. Absolutely, they don't believe that Muhammad is mm -hmm. messenger. They believe Muhammad is a messenger God next to God because they give him nope is Muhammad. Well they, they've God given him the power him. of intervention. Is that not, not yes correct? absolutely especially intercession is not trusting that God is just that God has mercy God God is for basically rejecting many attributes of God a Rahman mm -hmm. they don't believe mm -hmm. God is Rahim they don't believe God is Ghafir they don't God is muqsit and la yuzli munafsan and they mm -hmm. don't know, maybe God doesn't know them. Muhammad knows them better. The dead Muhammad uh -huh. knows them personally, but God doesn't know them. Muhammad tell God, this guy, this Sunni is a really a good guy. Please forgive uh -huh. him. In the the Catholics have done the same thing with, uh, excuse yeah. me, the Catholics have done the same thing with uh, yeah. the mother of Isa. They made her an intermediary. Exactly. Yeah. Either mm -hmm. Muhammad must be more... Uh, knowledgeable about you than God or yeah. Muhammad more merciful than God or forgiver than goodness sake this is idol worship according to Quran this is rejected this mm -hmm. Shafa'a is exactly what Meccan idol worshippers they were believing and this is exactly many verses of the Quran reject mm -hmm. this kind of thing and uh, the Hajj, uh, the one especially the longest hadith in Bukhari is about Mi'raj of course, yes. Muhammad experienced an uh, extraordinary event when God communicated with him the Quran, of course. But the story of Miraj is a big lie. It is one of the most silly lies ever. It's unbelievable. Okay, can, can we discuss that uh, on, a, yeah, on, on later. another right. meeting? Because okay. I want to return to the concept of the Hajj before we close up here, because um, um, this is very significant, and many people here have been asking this question about the Hajj. Now, my my from my own personal perspective, uh, you know, someone offered uh, to uh, make the Hajj for me because I couldn't go at the time, and uh, my books were banned in Saudi Arabia, so I thought it best not to go. Um, and uh, so they went, they made the Hajj, and I thought, oh, but this is very nice. Thank you very much. And I said, you know, more than anything else, I'm not concerned about Mecca. I'm concerned about the Prophet. And, uh, you know, if you manage to get to Medina, please stop by his grave and say, Dr. Omar said hello and thank you. Um, that sort of thing. I, I'm not a religious man. I mean, I, I don't get, get into this pious stuff. If I make a prayer, I make a simple door, and that's it. Uh, if God's sitting on my shoulder, I, I really don't have to pray because he already knows what's in my heart. It's, you know, the prayer is on for the part for the part of me. It's a benefit for me. OK, so that I know and confirm what it is that I really want by word and then by action. You see, so you can perform the good deeds because uh, faith without good deeds is useless. It's dead. But people are asking then, Brother uh, Edip, um well, what's the benefit then of making a Hajj? I mean, uh, should we do it? And uh, my immediate response is, well, I think it's a waste of effort. I think it's a waste of time. Um, maybe Allah would honor your intention, okay? Uh, because Allah does honor our intention according to what I understand. But um, I wouldn't, I, I'd be more concerned about getting, um, you know, food to the needy rather than making harsh and feeding the Saudis. Uh, so um, what do you think, brother, about that? Is it I worth think it? absolutely going there, uh, joining that uh, acts of uh, idol worship and stuff is absolutely uh, nothing to do with the Hajj, uh, that uh, big conference that 
was done during Prophet Muhammad and or uh, previously. But right now, though it is not the biggest big Hajj, Hajjul Akbar, but we are doing Hajj, for example, inshallah, uh, these coming August 19 and 21 August in between, uh -huh. we have a Hajj in Oxford University. And ah, we are the real Hajj. Hajj. Yeah, this is a Hajj. <laughs> this is beautiful, exactly according to the I Quran. Yes. Humans will come there. We will discuss these issues involving humanity and uh, involving Muslim uh, or Sunni Shiite population, which is in dire need to get out of this uh, uh, incredible uh, uh, religion, which is unfortunately mm -hmm. destroying our potential, destroying uh, our uh, children. And uh, therefore, I invite you to my brother, Omar Zaid. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I have uh, not announced it very publicly. We have a mm -hmm. poster for it. I'm going to announce it on Twitter and LinkedIn. Yes, and, please. Uh, please. Keep us uh, informed. And, and I will also repeat the invitation to uh, on my forum and uh, yes, my Yes, if blog. you can uh, join us.